uh, I want you to first focus on personality test. So that is 205. The highest mark this year is 206. I scored 205. And this is where or uh, interview is the stage where uh, it pushed my rank to top 100. So right now, forget that personality test. Right now, fix it at 170. Because for anyone who's going to do the personality test, I would say the mark you should minimum aim for is 170. So it is based on that, that we will determine our main strategy. It's very important. Getting 170 in interview is, is, is like, it's a majority score of everyone in the merit list and in the non-recommended list. It is very necessary for you to go through the mark sheets of people who did not pass. Because only then you will understand the score gap between people in the merit list and people who go to the interview and not get into the merit list is very low. It's extremely low because there are so many capable candidates who miss it by a few marks. So that way, personality test and the total, just from 205, fix your mind at 170. With that, we will now talk of the uh, mains uh, scores itself. So ethics, my score is 117. The highest this year is around 140. So 140 is your topper or the highest mark in essay. The average mark that everyone has got this year is 100 to 120. So this is like, I want you to focus on this average mark I'm telling you. If you come in the range of this average mark of 100 to 120 for essay and for the other papers, 100% you will pass mains and go to interview. And it is necessary for you to focus on getting this average mark first. So people who are the who are first attempt uh, people writing mains or if you will write mains in the future, I want you to clearly put in your mind that you need to first focus on getting this 120. There are enough strategies in the internet that will talk to you about scoring that 140. But right now I'm telling you, forget about the 140. It's fine if, I, if we get 120. Get the 120 like... Even in your, uh, even if you are asleep, if you come and write an exam, if we can score 120, then we will focus on the extra 20 marks. That extra 20 marks is only for getting a rank in top 50. If you want a rank from top 50 to the last of the merit list, according to the statistics we have, you don't need that extra 20 marks. You need the average marks that I am talking about. So essay right now fix it at 100 to 120. Right? Uh, then for general studies, paper 1 uh, to paper 4. The, uh, the highest mark is around 125 to 135. Uh, so my scores, you can relate it to the 125, 135 range. So I am always lagging behind the highest score in the paper by 20 marks. The only paper where I scored the highest mark or close to the highest mark is optional. Optional paper 1 sociology, 152 is in the highest mark range. I believe 153 is the highest, but I am not very sure. There could be people above me, but... Scoring 150 in optional is the score is, is, the, is the highest score for most of the optionals because you're if you cross 300 in optionals that is a big thing and this year if you're scoring 270 plus in optional that itself is a topper level score and if you score 250 that is the average score we are talking about so that way if you see SA and optional SA optional one optional two you should be aiming for 125 per paper so that should get you 375 so in optional you have to score 250. And essay it is 125. So this is fixed. If you do not get this 375 marks in essay and both the optionals, then you are not in the game. It's either this or you do exceedingly well in general studies. All your time is consumed in studying the vast volumes of general studies. You also know the amount of syllabus that is there to cover in general studies is high. Optional is bounded. There is a limited syllabus. You make notes out of it then you are not studying anything out of syllabus or it's, it's not like anything that that's under the sun would be asked in the exam. Optional is limited, which you can complete in 3-4 months. Essay is your writing skill. It's, it's like till 12th standard, if you have done your English essays properly, then essay is not a problem. Essay is, essay is not a big thing. Your knowledge comes from GS 1 to 4 and your writing skill comes from your English that you have studied till 12th standard. Because the problem that people face in essays, they can't write 1000 words together. There has to be a logical flow and concurrence, coherence, sorry, logical flow and coherence. Maintaining this across an uh, essay of 1000 to 1200 words is where the difficulty is. Because you will write points, your first point will not talk to the second point. Then it is not an essay, it is a general studies answer. So that's where people are losing marks. Instead of 117, if you score say 100, the 20 mark gap is because your, your essay did not have a logical flow. 1000 words must keep talking to the same topic and there has to be continuity in the in the way you are presenting your answer. So that's where this 100 to 120 difference will come in essay. And then the general studies paper, you have to focus on getting 400 cumulatively. So every year, 
general studies, one of the papers will be spiked or there, there will be a hike in the marks. 2019, it was ethics. 2019, ethics highest mark was 160 something. Because that year ethics was, was, was given that buffer that let everyone score high. The average mark in ethics in 2019 was 120. So anyone in the merit list, even the last rank is around those 600 to 700 range, also were having 120 in ethics. So it will happen in GS every year. So this year, this year no spike like that happened. So GS 1 and 2 has top score around uh, 120 to 130. GS 3 has a top score of 109, I guess. And that person did not clear, uh, did not come on the merit list. The highest score was with a candidate who was not there in the non-recommended list of uh, people. He scored the highest mark in GS3. Uh, and GS4, the highest is 140. It's, it's 136 to 140. I'm not clear of the final value. So if you look at that range and look at my score, so you understand that I'm always having a deficit of 20 to 30 marks with respect to what is the highest you can score in that paper. And I'm still there in the merit list. Why did that happen? So means, if you see, the general cutoff this year was 745. My score is 783. If you go by the strategy that I am telling you, SA, both optionals, score 125 each, you get 375. Four general studies put together, you should aim for 400. Because the general studies topper, the cumulative topper for general studies is already around 1, I guess. And her score is somewhere around 530 or something. I am asking you to aim 400. There's a buffer of 130 you can skip. So you do that, you still get a mark of 775. 400 plus 375, it's 775. The general cutoff for mains, clearing mains is 745. You still cross general cutoff and you have a buffer of 30 marks. You understand this? Th this is your mains game plan. 